My roll set to rate the screw cut. Right, these screws on the wrong way. That's better. All we do is we we'll touch the tool off. Zero up. Cross slide. Light cut on. Right. Just mark on the surface. So it's taking a big weight cut because it's a big weight chip because it's cutting on both sides of the thread. Slow it down and it comes towards the end of the thread. And stop it. Right, change we have got this job mounted now. I put it in the four jaw chuck just because so I can get a better hold of it. The four jaw chuck, I've got that running dead through, and I've got that running dead through. What I want to do, I want to cut that bit off, recent that drill it, and then machine this this boss down to size and the final skim off here. So, what I think I'll do, I'll cut that off, I'll just cut it off with a hacksaw, sent that drill it, and then go from there. Before I cut this end off, I'll put a drill through so I can pick the centre up again. I don't want to cut it off flush and have to re-drill it, but I'll, it's actually running dead through now. So I put this drill in, past where I'm going to cut it off, I can pick my centre drill up, no problem at all. I've got my favourite bit of bed protector in. Okay, so you can see it's cut off, but it's left the hole in, so I can pick the centre up my centre drill, no problem at all. Just nice and gently at first, it picks it. Just face that and then put the centre in and we'll get this down to machine down. Right, so we've got it mounted back in onto our 
newly drilled centre and things are still running nice and true. Right, it makes up at 1.1.575. 1 1 right, put a cut on. 50 thousands power feed. I could probably speed it up and I could probably take a bigger cut, but I don't want to. I don't want to mess the job up. I'm quite happy just to plod on doing it this way. It's quite happy the chips are breaking nicely. See, I'm using my homemade tool hole now with a nice big tip in it. We're getting the outer size now, that's within 20 thou of the right diameter. What I want to do, I want to use this tool just to put a nice radius in the corner, which means I can then face that down to the correct size and reface that, and I'll be left with a little recess in the corner. And I'll screw the lathe right down. I'll just drop it in the back here, yes, the quickest way. What I've got is a recess in there so I'm not trying to face into a corner I can face that and face that and I'll still be left with a little radius in there you don't want a sharp edge in the corner this is starting to get warm now so what I'm going to do I'm going to put a finished cut on that face there I'm going to leave that down like that until it cools down I'll probably do it tomorrow I'm going to use that tool to put a finish on I'll set the lathe up so it runs fairly fast but a nice slow a nice slow feed rate just a nice light cut, that's all I want to do is put a finish on it. That's not a bad finish. Right, I've turned the tool round so it's actually... It should cut better at that angle, it's more the angle it's designed to work at. We'll try it again, just another very light cut. Push it off, give me a little recess. That's nice. Right, all I want to do now is break that edge and break that edge, and I'll leave that and I'll machine that when the job's totally cooled off. Down a little bit for the outer face. Right, so I finished machining there, that's finished, that face is finished. All I want to do now, I think it's about 15 felt to come off that, come off that diameter there. Right, the job's cooled down now, 
room temperature, which is pretty cool here, I can assure you. It's looking like all 12 thousandths of that. What I'll do, I'll take a I'll take five, five and say that's ten thou. Right, it's very near now. I think what I'll do, I'll pull everything back and I'll try the try the job on what I'll do I'll just put a little bit more chamfer on there first just break that edge Take any little rags off. That's just about that's still a slight amount of heat in there and that that would go on. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'll leave it like that. Because that is ice cool, it's been on a steel, cool steel bench and not warm to the touch. I'll leave it alone and I'll try it again tomorrow.